Boys and girls, I'm gonna read this book to you, a book about plants, and it's by Andrew Falk. How Plants Grow. Plants are living things. Most plants grow from seeds. Plants have different parts that help them get what they need to live and grow. This book shows you some many different kinds of plants. These plants have leaves, stems, and roots. All of these plants can grow from seeds. As a plant grows, its stem gets taller and its roots get longer. A growing plant will get more leaves. These plants are growing. Some are taller than others. Some have more leaves. Here is a plant that is growing. It has different parts that make up the whole plant. Down in the bottom, in the soil, are the roots. Then the roots, the water goes up the stem to all the parts of the plant. There are leaves that make food for the plant, and there's the flower. And the flower, once it's pollinated, will make seeds for the plant. Growing from seeds. A new plant can grow from a seed. Seeds are a plant part. Plants make seeds grow to new, grow new plants. Seeds from different plants look different. Oh yeah, look at these, they, they're all very different. Getting water. Plants need water to live and grow. Plants have parts that get water. These parts are roots. Roots help plants live and grow. Roots grow underground. The roots spread out to get water from the soil around the plant. Do you remember the picture, um, the roots I we saw in the tomato plants? Getting light. Plants need light to live and grow. Plants have parts that help them get light. Those parts are called leaves. The leaves of a plant catch the light so the plant can grow. Leaves are often flat to catch a lot of light from the sun. Stems also help plants get light. Stems are plant parts. They hold the leaves up. Stems grow upward to bring leaves closer to the light. Different kinds of plants. There are many different kinds of plants. All plants have parts that help them get what they need to live and grow in the habitats where they live. The parts might look different, but they all help the plants live and grow. An apple tree is a tall plant that people like to grow. Apples grow on apple trees. Apples are a kind of fruit. You can see the roots of the apple tree get the water and that the plant needs to live and to grow. So here's the roots, there's the stem, the fruit, and the leaves. The leaves of the apple tree catch the sunlight that the apple tree needs to live and grow. The flowers of the apple tree make the fruit, apples. New apple trees grow from the seeds inside apples. Some animals eat apples. This picture shows a larva eating an apple. This larva eats in order to grow bigger and become a moth. I know another animal that likes to eat, eat apples and it's a human because I love to eat apples. Oh, garlic. Humans use the garlic plant in food. It has a strong taste that many people like. I love it. And here's the roots. There's a bulb. There's the stem and leaves. The thin roots of the garlic plant get the water that the plant needs to live and grow. New garlic plants can grow from the bulb. The long leaves of the garlic plant catch the sunlight that the plant needs to live and grow. The flowers of the garlic plant make garlic seeds. A new garlic plant can grow from a garlic clove. A clove is a small section of the bulb. Garlic flowers have sweet nectar that provides food for bees. The bees eat the nectar to live and grow. The kapok tree. This is a tree that we don't have in Southern California. The kapok tree is a very tall, strong plant that grows in hot, rainy habitats. The kapok's tree habitat is filled with lots of other plants. The tall, hard stem of the kapok tree reaches high above the other plants so the leaves can catch sunlight. 
the roots of the kapok tree get the water that the plant needs to live and grow. The wide leaves of the kapok tree catch the sunlight that the tree needs to live and grow. The flowers of the kapok tree make seed pods. New kapok trees grow from the seeds in, in pods filled with fluff. Bats eat the nectar made by the flowers of the kapok tree. The bats eat the nectar to live and grow. I think I'm starting to see a pattern. A pine tree. Pine trees are very tall, strong plants. Their leaves are called needles because they are thin and pointy. They are the roots. The roots of the pine tree get the water the plant needs to live and grow. There's the stem or the trunk of the tree and there's the leaves. The many leaves or needles of the pine tree catch the sunlight that the tree needs to live and grow. The flowers of the pine tree make pine cones. New pine trees grow from seeds found inside pine cones. The pine cones help protect the seeds and carry them to a habitat where they can grow. Beavers eat the bark off pine trees to live and grow. Beavers also use wood from the trees to build their homes. And boys and girls remember beaver dams. Beavers make beaver dams. Ooh, here's a radish plant. Radish. Humans eat the roots of radish plants. The roots taste spicy. The roots of the radish plant get the water that the plant needs to live and grow. Here are the roots. There we go. Here are the, here's the stem and here are the leaves. The leaves of the radish plant catch the sunlight that the plant needs to live and grow. The flowers of the radish plant make the seeds. New radish plants grow from the small seeds. Snails eat the leaves of radish plants. A snail eats leaves many of many plants to live and grow. So boys and girls, I see a pattern here. I see that the roots drink up the water for the plant. I see that the leaves make food for the plant out of water, air, and sunshine. I see that flowers are pollinated and then make seeds, and that seeds grow into new plants. And finally, that many animals eat plants to live and grow. All right, this is an interesting book, A Handbook of Plants. All right, so boys and girls, uh, about uh, two weeks ago, I planted these tomatoes. And they were pretty small at the beginning, and already they're starting to get some beautiful little flowers on them. And this tomato plant, that one of the flowers has already been pollinated and it's turning into a fruit, a tomato. All right, so we've got some tomatoes growing here. And remember, I also planted some seeds. I planted some basil, and the basil's just starting to come out of the ground. So first it germinates, and then it starts to, it becomes a little sprout. Here's the arugula. Boy, it grew really fast, much faster than the uh, basil. Here's the kale. And over here is the broccoli. We didn't plant quite as much broccoli. Well, I'll just give it a few more days. Oh, there's some little baby ones starting to come up. Then I planted some lettuce and it is just starting to come up. You can start to see some of the little tiny baby plants, the sprouts coming up. But fourth graders had planted some cilantro before we left. And I, the last time I showed you the garden, I showed you that they were little tiny baby plants, just little sprouts. But look at this beautiful cilantro now. It is growing. The stems are carrying the water up from the soil. The leaves are making food out of sunlight and water and carbon dioxide from the air. They're growing, they are getting bigger. All right, and then the carrots. The last time I showed you the garden, the carrots were so small. They are getting bigger too. All right, our garden is growing. It's looking beautiful. That's a, a whole bed of carrots. Here's some cilantro. 
Here's some more cilantro and I planted some little green onions and they're just starting to come up. All right, boys and girls, I'll keep you updated on what's happening in the garden.